Hello and welcome to Ark, the complete series. We're down by the lava cave today, so that's the one that's right down in the southeast corner of the map. And I'm, I'm going to actually go in there for a couple of reasons. Uh, I'm, I'm actually in need of some artifacts here because I want to do the broodmother runs again. Uh, I really need some element. Uh, but I'm also going to go in here because I know that there's there's something in here that DHL and Neil spot. Um, she'll have something to say, so I thought I may as well uh, go and have a look and see what that is. It's to do with those chronicles that are coming out. I mean, I mean, this particular one came out like a long time ago. I'm just never getting around to actually uh, doing it, to be honest. But I thought while I'm in here, I may as well catch that on uh, camera and see what uh, see what she has to spout out. But, I mean, the reason I'm coming back down here, though, is because I've now actually finished breeding the new Gen 2 uh, furry army there, the Megatheriums that we've been breeding. Because the first uh, gen, they didn't do that well. I mean, they did have much better saddles, but um, stats-wise, they didn't really have much chance, to be honest. So I've got these ones pretty much on par with Rexes, and that's what I want to do. I want to I wanna run some Rexes against the Alpha Broodmother, and I want to then run a test with the actual uh, Megatheriums as well, just as a comparison. I'm just trying to weigh up which is the better choice, you know, do is it worthwhile going for the Rex army or the Megatheriums? Um, but at the end of the day, to be honest, I just really need a lot of element. So I'm going to pop into this cave. Uh, as soon as we come across something interesting, I'll let you know. survivors must have missed. Good thing you've got all H and A following you around, right? There's a reason I'm following you around, you know. My creator, Elena, used to be a survivor like you. If I observe you, maybe I can understand her better. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So that's that's an uh, interesting place to put it, because I mean, I suppose you're going to come down to that point anyway. Because I mean, there's a uh, there's an explorer note there. Uh, there's one around the corner there as well. But, uh, oh, okay. An interesting little note. I wonder. I have a feeling we're being observed. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go off and get, uh, get ourselves some artifacts and then we'll start to take on the broodmother. I'll see you then. Well, we're over at the Green Beacon now, uh, and that's where I brought all of these Megatheriums, because all of the Rexes are over at the Red Beacon. Uh, it just saves me having to move things around, but, I mean, that's the good thing I like about the server version, is that it doesn't matter which beacon you go to, you can take on any boss you like uh, from any of the beacons, really, whereas with a single-player game, it's very specific. You've got to go to a particular beacon to take on a specific uh, boss, but... These are the Gen 2 Megatheriums. They've all been given high level saddles. I had to make some more because we lost, I think it was about, yeah, we lost four of them in, in the uh, the original boss fight. But these ones, uh, they've, they've been given some um, some actual mutations. Uh, just checking four health for melee. So that gives them, just pop back to here, so that gives them 30,000 in health and 520 in melee. So the plan is I want to see how these do compared to the originals because they never had the benefit of, you know, better stats. Because uh, they, they were originally bred just for the, for the sake of me being able to get, like, the uh, the actual cryopods. I'll uh, just pop these into here. We'll get them to go against the Alpha Brood Mother. Yeah, I mean, the, the original Megatherium army... I only bred those because at the time, uh, if you wanted to make cryopods, I mean, Wildcard had just like giving you that option to take on, uh, well, to, to actually make cryopods on all of the maps. But the problem was you needed to be, uh, yeah, you need to have a tech, you need to have a tech replicator to be able to make them. Uh, so that's why I made all all of the Megatheriums. Really, I was in a bit of a rush to try and get as much element as I could. But anyway, we'll see how these lot do. Uh, right. So there's... Let me get on it. Let me get on it. Get it go. Right. You lot. This looks a bit different. Go on. Everybody's stuck. Are you all stuck? <laughs> Everybody's stuck. Right. So let's see how these do. I don't know what it is. It somehow feels a bit different, this map. 
Uh, I don't know what it is, but it just, it just feels a bit different. So they're taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, one, five, round about like 1500 when they've got the boost. Because obviously they're taking, you know, they're taking out spiders and they get a buff. The trouble is a lot of these megatheriums are stuck behind each other, I think. Which probably doesn't help. Now the one thing I haven't done is I haven't brought any uh, Deodons into this boss fight. I, I don't really see any point to be honest. I tried that in the, the previous one. Uh, the trouble was, yeah, if you start moving them around, they start to... Uh, they start to stop that passive healing which didn't really help. So I think it's, it's better off just leaving the Deodons to, like, to heal them up afterwards. You know, take the take your, uh, your army in to take on the bosses and then heal them up afterwards outside. I can see there's quite a few of them are actually getting the boost. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, I can see one of them's bloodied already. Trouble is, they're not, they're not really surrounding the boss. That's what's bothering me more than anything. Go around... Yeah, they're not, they're not really surrounding the boss. That would have been better. Probably not a good idea to be doing this because I'll probably end up with a load of spiders suddenly coming up after me. <laughs> right. Ooh, wow, these things are really struggling. Even though I've given them like potentially much higher stats, they're still struggling. I'm really surprised to be honest. I thought they would have done better than this. I mean, we're at round around about the halfway mark and I'm still losing. Still losing them. Oh wow! I mean, they've all got the the boosted saddles as well, and I've given them all like veggie cakes. Craigie, we actually seem we seem to be doing worse than we did originally. Because I know the last time we did this, there was I think there's only four of them survived. Now these have got much higher health. So I'm, I'm really amazed, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I, I thought we would actually do a lot better this time around. Because I was hoping to be able to keep all of these and then just keep redoing more uh, boss runs with them, but it's got me wondering now. So that's another one down. Craigie. I think the, I think the last ones had something like 23,000 health. Now these ones have got 30,000. They've got higher melee, but eh, maybe I should have put more into melee then. Because that's what it is. It's a, it's like a DPS fight more than anything. It's like that balance where you've either got to get... You, 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 basically, you've got to take this thing down really, really quickly. Because uh, it, it's handing out a lot of damage. It's handing out around about like 800 per hit. Now the trouble is, if these don't, if these don't get to kill any spiders, yeah. But yeah, it's that, it's that balancing act of you know, you can have a lot of health, but the trouble is, if you if you still can't kill this thing quickly enough, it's not going to last, and you're you're still going to lose uh, the battle. On the other hand, if you've got a lot of uh, a lot of melee, you can take this down a lot quicker. And that's what I've been trying to find is that bit of a balance of you know which is the which is the best because it's a trade-off you can either have high health or you can have high melee you can't have it both ways I'm surprised because these have got a uh, you know they get a boost they've got like good saddles and that's for certain so they should be taking a lot less damage and they'll take a boost every time they kill a spider they get a buff they get a damage uh, buff they get a, a resistance buff Mm. I mean, it looks like we're going to do it, but... Yeah, I'm not impressed, I must admit. Uh, I'm not doing as well, certainly not doing as well as I thought. Craigie. I dread to think how many of these things we've lost. Right, so... And the, now that's interesting they haven't used the veggie cakes at all. Well, at least not many of them did. 
I was expecting to do uh, a lot better than that. That's going to be the problem now, is I'm going to have to pick up all of these uh, saddles in the short space of time that I've got, because they're not cheap. Alright, some of them use them. Some of them did use them, so that's a good thing. Oh, rat, rats, you can't, all, you can't pick them all up, can you? <laughs> oh, no. Can you carry all of these, dude? Right, because I need to, I need to grab as many as I can. Because as I say, they're not cheap. I mean, I had to, I had to remake a lot of them. Uh, that's... Oh, I'm not going to get them all, am I? Drat. Right, let's see. So, uh, right. So we've got. We've only got six left. Wow! Oh no, we've got seven. We've got seven left. So how much you took? That's a lot. A lot they actually lost. Wow, so that's a lot of saddles I'd have to remake. If I wanted to do this again with the Megatheriums, that's going to be a lot of a lot of saddles to be made. I'm just amazed, to be honest. I, I thought they would have done a lot better. I'm kind of a bit miffed, to be honest. But anyway, who's got the... Right, you've got the... Uh, ah, that's interesting. We only got 74. Ah, we only got 74 elements. I was expecting more than that. Hmm... Interesting, interesting. Right, well, I'm just going to leave this lot here because um, the next thing to do is we're going to try this against the actual broodmother using the Rexes and see how they compare because they should have similar sort of stats. Uh, actually, that doesn't matter. I'll, I'll pick up the saddles later on. But yeah, they'll, they'll have similar sort of stats. So. I need to get some Sarko skins first because I'm short on those. So we're going to head over uh, to the Red Beacon once I've got my Sarko skins. And then we'll just run a comparison just see how the actual Rex army does versus the actual Broodmother. See you shortly. Well, we're over at the Red Beacon now. So we're ready to start uh, the Broodmother against these Rexes. So get that show underway. The, the only thing that bothers me is the fact that those, <laughs> all of those blue Megatheriums, I mean, they, they didn't do anywhere near as well as I thought. And they get a boost, whereas the Rexes don't. And I'm thinking, maybe this is not such a good idea. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm really sort of like keen to get over to, to Scorched Earth, because I think it'll be easy to get the, the actual Tech Rexes. And they'll, they'll be a lot better, to be honest. But to be honest, I've still got to get off this island. Alright, so let's see how these look do. I think in part, part of the problem, I think part of the problem was they were just not getting um, around the Broodmother. And I can't get out of here, I'm stuck. Go on you lot, get going. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think those Megatheriums were surrounding the actual Broodmother. I mean the benefit of these lot is that they can do quite a lot of damage. Uh, what if I send them over there? If I can, if I can get some of them to move. Nah, they're all just getting stuck. Over here. If I can get if I can get them to move around, it might be a bit better. Go on. Get attacking. <laughs> oh, it's true. So you can see that, that like the damage they do is nowhere near what the, the Megatheriums do. Not even close. Now, some of them have got about 30,000 health. Some of them have got around about 35,000 health. So they've got a... Those with a 30,000 health have got a slight boost. But I think it looks like there's... They're, they might actually be surrounding the Broodmother. I think that was the one problem I might have had against the... You know, using the, the Megatheriums is they didn't have that... Um, they didn't have a surrounded, so... I think a lot of them were just like acting as a buffer between the rest of them. I mean, Rexes have a, quite a good AOE damage as well. Or at least they've got a better reach, if, any, if nothing else. We seem to be doing a lot. It feels like we're doing a lot better, but I can see some of these Rexes are seriously bloodied. I mean, she's handing out a lot of damage. It's going to run around the back just to be on the safe side. I want to make sure that everybody's getting a boost.
Yeah, feels a bit better, but I, I can I can see we're probably going to lose some of these. I do think we're going to lose some of these wrecks as they're not not doing as well as I was. Uh, I mean, they're doing a lot better than the Mega Therium. So okay, so so far one down, but they're holding out a lot better than the actual um, the Mega Theriums did. I mean, whenever I've played this, to be honest, I've I've usually just done it the easier way and just used uh, the Rexes because it's it's easier to tame Rexes, especially when you've got that S plus uh, hatchery. The real perk of that thing is that you can you can get a lot of eggs uh, produced in a, a much quicker time with, with the Mega Theriums, of course. Then you've got the problem of you've got like a live birth. You've got to go through the gestation. You, you can't speed it up any more than it already is, so it does take longer. It takes longer to get the actual um, the saddles made as well. They need a lot more resources for the Mega Theriums. You need tons of hide, tons of um, cementing paste and so on. Well, you can get it, but it's, it's very, very time consuming. So, yeah, I don't know, it seems they were doing pretty well to start off and now they're, now they're starting to struggle. I mean, they're getting there. They're getting there. So, I, I'm, um, I'm just hoping they'll hold out because I can see there's a lot of these are seriously bloodied. Man, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of Rexes. I mean, the, the, the Brood Mother is not an easy boss fight. Oh, wow, they're just, just kind of holding out. Come on, just a bit more. Oh. Oh, Struth. Crikey, they, even they're not doing as well. Blimey, there's only two of them left. Oh, no. I think we're going to have to get her involved. Oh, man, this is not going well at all. Come on, come on. Focus on the brood mother. There's only one left. I can't believe it. We're down to only one. Oh, come on. Come on. No. No, focus on her. Focus on her. Oh, Struth. That was brutal. I did not expect it to go that badly. Oh wow, one only one wreck survived. That is that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I thought it would go a lot better. I've I've normally just played this just with the um you know just the Rexes to be honest. And it's it's usually gone swimmingly well. And yet this has just gone really, really bad. I mean you get about um Oh I'm just trying to think about I think it's about 75 levels you can get out of um, your dinos to boost them. Uh, and I've, I've gone up by about so I'd say about 50 something because after that it starts to it starts to struggle the um, you know the amount of like XP you get for like using say about 10 oh <gasps> using say about 10 um, like eggs you know Rex eggs. It's truth, did you? Wow, that was brutal. So where did all the... Please tell me you at least got the element. Oh. <laughs> I cannot believe that. We only we only survived with one Rex. And that... How much health have you got left? <laughs> oh, man! This is the one of them with like... I mean, it was a compromise. I mean, these have got 600 melee. I forgot, yes. These have got 600 melee with 35,000 health. The other ones had... 30,000 and 650 milli, I think. Wow, that... I, I am seriously amazed how much healthy you got left. <laughs> that was right to the wire. I cannot believe it. I, I'm going to have to do some serious testing. I'm going to have to find out, like, what sort of levels do you actually need to be able to do this brood with it? Because this is just not... This is just nuts. I mean, if you look at the... Like the the requirements to take on like the brood mother, uh, the beta one for instance. Uh, you just need like 
Argentavis talons, Sarco skin, sauropods, Titanoboa venom. The Megapithecus is easier. It's an easier boss, but the problem is you need Megalania toxin. And that's a bit of a pain to find because you've got to go around the caves and looking for them. I was seriously tempted to do the Broodmother fight and just keep ro rolling that one over, but... Wow, it's a, it's a much harder one to do. It is way, way harder than I, I last remember. I mean, last time I did this with Rexes, we just, we pretty much sailed through. I only lost about two or three. And that's usually, usually the, the sp they're usually they suggest like around about like 35,000 health. You want a lot of melee. The trouble is, I, I mean, I don't do uh, anything to manipulate uh, the stats that you get. Uh, the amount of like uh, boost that I get from say like imprinting is just the default. It's whatever the server sets up by default. And when you're increasing the levels of stats mine are just the, the defaults again and they are quite low i must admit they're the very very low settings i've noticed practically everything else is like one these are like much much lower especially for things like health and melee if i remember wow i, I just can't i can't believe that I, I am seriously gobsmacked i mean we've just about got out with it i mean this, this is going to be like a lot of rexes i'm going to have to rebreed i mean that's what if we manage to salvage? <laughs> About nine of them. <laughs> oh, that's true. All, all for 74. Uh, that's the Rex, isn't it? Yeah, all for 74 element. That is not practical. That is just not practical. Uh, well, there you go. At least you know, I mean, I, I honestly, I've, I've never really bothered much with the Megatheriums because I've always just got away with just doing the Rexes. They're much easier to breed, it's much easier to make their saddles, uh, and that's the way I've always done it. So, like, it was just on this particular playthrough I decided to try the Megatheriums because I thought that would be a bit quicker. They get the boosts, they get the yeah, resistance and so on. That'll be a bit quicker for when I, I just want to do quick uh, element runs and get um, enough element to make the cryopods and the tech replicator and so on. But since we got so far, I thought I'd try them out. Now, I must admit, they actually, they're actually doing a lot better than the Rex is a lot be better than I'm used to. Hmm. So I think the conclusion from this is, yeah, you definitely want to be using Megatheriums, but you definitely need... Yeah, you definitely need to sort of... Like, Get them, make sure that they do surround the actual boss. You're going to need a lot more melee than what, what I'd given them, more than 500, and that means some serious, serious breeding to get them up to that level. It's either that or, you know, you'd have to tweak the server settings to manipulate them so that you get either, you know, higher levels through the imprinting or higher levels through the... Um, the actual leveling up process itself. Now, I don't do that. I'm just doing it like, you know, the same as the, the normal server would. So that's, yeah, that, that that's like a surprise, I must admit. That is a serious surprise. And now, of course, I've got no, I've got no Rex army left. Booba. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's it. Well, at least we managed to, to defeat the Broodmother. Yeah, I've done that twice now, and I've, I've learned my lesson. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because that'll help me out a great deal. Whatever reason YouTube likes to think that you know if, if you know a video gets uh, several likes, then yes, more people would like to probably see that video. So yes, I really do appreciate the likes you leave. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content, yes, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, because then you get notifications when I send new content out. And if you've got any comments, any suggestions, you want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comments section below. Till the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.